Hi everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so glad that you're here. It is that time again for the five under five DIY challenge that is hosted on the fifth of every month by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Cheek. Their co-host this month is Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. I am so excited for this DIY challenge. Christmas and farmhouse all in one. My favorite decor of all. So let's get started with DIY number one. Okay, for this DIY, I will be making a farmhouse wall sign uh, for Christmas. I will be using these signs that you can get from the Dollar Tree that already have that wood grain inside. So easy peasy. I have a few of these. When I see them, I stock up. I love these signs. So you see those little ornaments, they're wreaths, but they're, you know, kind of like a faux wood look with um, a little bit of greenery on there. I thought I was just going to use those and, you know, I thought they had different words on them, four different words, but they only had two different words. I think it was joy and hope. So I thought, oh, but I did change my mind and so I only ended up using one. And I'll show you that in a sec. But here I'm taking some square, a square dowel, and I'm gonna cut one down to size that I've, I already cut it and it's inside the box there. What I'm trying to do is make like a window pane or little boxes, you know, separate little frames inside one frame. So I'm going to, I thought, oh, easy peasy, I'm gonna cut one, uh, measure it, you know, cut it, and then just cut that one in half. Well, <laughs> when I went to go fit it in there, it didn't fit because, or one didn't fit because I wasn't allowing the measurement for the dowel that's already in the picture. So just keep that in mind if you would like to make one of these. Uh, you When you're measuring the short sticks, make sure and, and allow that. I think it was like an eighth of an inch, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that I was using. So you have to factor that in when you're cutting the two short sticks uh, to make four little windows. I hope I'm making sense. So that's what I'm doing here, measuring. Um, I did have to cut twice. <laughs> and then I painted with the color plaster chalk paint, the frame all the way around the wall sign as well as the square dowels. And then I'll get ready to glue those into that shadow box. I usually eyeball these. Uh, I measured them just, you know, the, nothing uh, perfect, but I did measure to get, you know, pretty even squares here. And I don't even, I didn't even use glue. The, it was such a tight fit that I was able to, to just lay them in there just like so. And here was my original idea. That's the look that I was going for, but you know, I didn't want two of the same word in each one and I didn't know how to, uh, you know, make a different one. So I just went ahead and just changed it up. So I'm going to uh, make a ribbon and this is going to be for the top of my sign. It's kind of out of order here, but um, I was going to use red ribbon and then I decided to use the black and white uh, gingham ribbon or, or buffalo check. And so I'm just going to, you know, add, uh, make a bow my way, <laughs> Laura's way, I should say. Uh, it's probably not proper. So um, don't take any lessons from me. I'm just doing the best that I can and I'm making a cute little bow. I dug through my stash and this is what I came up with. I have a shovel that says snow. I got this from the Dollar General for a dollar. And then I am going to use the, the wreath right in the center of my, my sign here. And that says hope. And there's that bow. Not, it's pretty cute, right? <laughs> and then I have two tags. One says peace and one says joy with the red and black buffalo check or gingham to match my shovel. And then I have a snowman to match that same red and black gingham. It says warm wishes. And then I have another little snowman. It says merry and bright. And that has the black and white gingham to match my bow. So 
I, I tried to make it uh, cohesive even though there's a lot going on and I just glued all my pieces down just you know it, uh, in the center of each square and then that wreath in the middle and then the shovel on the left and then I have a snowflake that also has black and white gingham you can barely see it unless you're up close it's in the background but it is there to match the bow um, on the snowman and the bow on top and that was it for this one and I think this came out so stinking cute and for that bow I just glued it right to the center on the top of that frame and then I cut down my my tails there and I glued the tails right to the top of the frame as well um, so it didn't get in the way of the other things that I have going on on this sign and it looks so cute it kind of reminds me of that you know that bow candy or ribbon candy that you you know that we used to get when we were kids does anyone remember that candy oh man that brings back memories okay so I'm just gonna jump forward to this DIY once it's done and we'll move on. And there it is. Here I'm just finishing up that bow, like I said, just gluing the tails right to the top of that frame so they don't dangle down and get in the way of uh, the tags there. So that's what that looks like. Uh, what do you think about this one? Please let me know down in the comments section. I would love to know. I know it's a lot going on, but I, I think it's cute. <laughs> okay, if you have not checked out these channels, oh my gosh, I would invite you to do so. You will not be disappointed. Missy from Crafty Cove, she is just so sweet, and she makes the most beautiful DIYs. And there's Emily, another sweetheart. These group, this group, is just amazing i i love watching them create i learn so much from them and thank you so much uh, missy and emily for hosting this challenge every month it does uh, keep me motivated and i just feel you know part of a group and it's just so awesome so thank you and then of course their beautiful co-host krista she is just oh my gosh she i love watching her her channel as well she you know keeps me smiling and yeah she does some amazing amazing diys so yeah go check them out and there's also going to be a playlist um for you all so i'm going to link everybody in my description box and the playlist as well so yeah, go check them out and show everybody some love and support. Okay, let's move on to DIY number three. This DIY is inspired by Pinterest. I saw the cutest ribbon tree made with a, a branch or a twig, and I thought I have got to make one of those. And then I'm gonna take one of those round frames from the Dollar Tree, it's on a stand with um, you know, some uh, metal and I thought that would be so cute to hang from and just make it a little bit different and make it my own so I went outside I got a twig you see there <laughs> from my pomegranate tree and I'm just gonna cut some ribbon and all you do is you um, take some wired ribbon and you just I don't know if you have to use wired um, I feel like it it holds up better um, but I'm not sure so here I'm just cutting down my twig. I kind of measured it with that uh, the round uh, metal frame there. And you just cut pieces of ribbon. You tie it onto your your twig and you can make it as full or as you know sparse as you would like. Now the one I saw on Pinterest wasn't as full as mine. I made mine a little bit fuller. So I think I have 14 or 15 uh, pieces of ribbon tied onto my twig. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. 
This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. And here is my last piece of ribbon, tying it right there on the top. And you know, uh, or second to the last, sorry. <laughs> I added one more, it looks like. And so what I did is I, I kind of cut a, a triangle out with a piece of paper. I thought I would use that as a guide uh, to cut the ribbon, but I ended up scratching that and I just kind of eyeballed my, my ribbon. I just, you know, cut one side, then cut the other side and just made a triangle with my, with my ribbon and made a Christmas tree. So yeah, it was so, so fun, so easy. And my, like I said, mine's a lot fuller than the one that I saw on Pinterest. And to stop the ribbon from fraying, I'm just gonna take a lighter and lightly burn the edges of my ribbon, just like so. And if you do this, just be careful. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh. And now I'm going to embellish the tree, I'm going to add some tiny pine cones and a little bit of berries to the top for my tree topper. And this would look really cute with the star on top as well, but I really wanted to use some pine cones and give it that woodsy farmhouse look. And then I made a sweet little bow using some red satin ribbon and I just added that to the top of my tree there. I did trim it just a little bit, made it a little more triangled. Right now it looks kind of like a barn. <laughs> So yeah, I did trim it up a little bit and burn the edges. I added some glue to the picture frame there, just like that. And the tree didn't come in contact with the top bar, only the crossbar. So I did end up using the uh, clothespins and I just uh, took two small clothespins and just pinned the ribbon, just like that. And, you know, just to give it a little more um, security, I guess. And then I thought, how cute would it be to add some presents to the bottom of this tree? So I took some tumbling tower blocks and some square wood pieces from the Dollar Tree and I painted them up. I added some cotton twine, different colors, and now I'm just going to glue those presents right to the bottom of my tree, just like so. Okay, I'll show you the tree in the final reveal. For now, let's move on to DIY number three. Okay, so this project is inspired by Pinterest as well. I've been spending a lot of time on Pinterest lately. <laughs> so I have this scale I've had uh, at my home. Gosh, I can't even remember how long I've had it. It's a very cheap scale. I got it from Walmart years back. Um, and I'm just going to, here I'm trying to take it apart to see if I can, you know, paint each piece individually and it it was held together by springs and whatnot so i thought no i'm just going to put it back together and i'm just going to tape up the black part this actual scale part of the scale and um yeah so i took it outside and i painted it with the color serenity blue beautiful color and it just reminds me of that old uh vintage color that they used back in the day and I did try to um, take this face out, this plastic face, and it did crack on me, so I did have to glue it, but that's okay. It just added to the um, vintage charm. <laughs> And here is how my pieces turned out. I had a little bit of drip marks, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. And um, the it, all in all, it, it turned out pretty good. I like the color and yeah, taping off the black pieces um, worked out fine. And then what I did is I, I faced the 
scale flat down on a piece of cardboard and I, when I sprayed, I sprayed in a downward motion to make sure I didn't accidentally paint the front where the, um, all the numbers are. So here I am just going to clean up my glass with some alcohol uh, where I, I glued it. You know how you get that filmy look on there, that filmy, uh, I don't know what it is from the super glue. I just, you know, wiped that off as best that I could and that's what that's looking like. And then I just added that piece right back into the um, scale and then we'll start working on the top part. And so I have some faux snow that is a piece of cloth from the automotive department at the Dollar Tree. It just, it's fuzzy and white and um, it just looks like snow. I have an assortment of trees. I also have a white church from uh, the Dollar Tree. I just picked that up uh, yesterday as a matter of fact. And I do think I have some in my stash, but I got one just in case. So here I'm just going to add that plastic piece right back to the face of this scale. I'm just going to cut a piece of this material for the bottom of my scale there or the tray. And I just kind of eyeballed it and cut a piece off. I don't want to glue this cloth down inside the tray because I want to change this up for different seasons um, for my kitchen. And here I'm just going to clip off that hanger from this tree or tree from this church or the peak of the church. And I'm just using my wire cutters and making sure I keep that that point um, intact. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna start gluing um, my pieces down to the cloth. Um, I don't mind gluing it to the cloth because then I can just remove the whole thing when I, you know, Christmas is over. And then I want to add some embellishments to my church. So here I'm just looking through my pine cone bucket and then I'm going to get some berries out and add some berries as well. And then I added some frosted eucalyptus just to make it look fuller and make it my own. And then I just started adding my trees all around the church and I wanted a lot, a lot of trees. So that's what I'm doing here. And then once I got done with my trees, I realized, you know what, you can see the, the bottom of the tree stands and I didn't like that so I grabbed some faux snow and I'm just going to add that faux snow right to the top just like that covering those uh, wooden pieces that the trees are, are stuck on or the tree stands I should say. <laughs> When I added the tray to the scale, I realized that the um, tray wasn't heavy enough to weigh down and hide the actual gear to the scale. And I didn't care for that look. So to make it heavier, I'm just gonna add some of these black river rocks to the bottom. And while I, I did that, um, it, well, for one, it's a good thing I didn't glue that material down, but everything got disheveled. So I just had to rearrange everything and make it look nice. And I added some more faux snow and this project was done. And that made a world of difference. It just weighed it down a little bit more and just made it look more like those pictures I saw on Pinterest. Okay, for DIY number four, I will be making a lantern. Super simple DIY here. I'll be using the wooden lanterns that the Dollar Tree just came out with. So I want to paint this lantern white, but do you see the dark trim that's on this lantern? I want to keep that look. So I'm going to be very careful when I paint up this lantern. And if I get any paint on the darker areas, I'm just going to wipe it off with an alcohol wipe or a uh, wipey or something like that. And you just wanna make sure if you would like to make one 
Um, don't wait too long. Uh, don't let the paint dry. And you know, it's a lot harder to wipe off. So I'm going to remove this hanger here. I thought I was going to reuse it, but I didn't end up using it that. I'll just set that aside for something else. <laughs> and here's what my lantern is looking like. I'll paint it up. And I have this wreath, mini wreath that I found in my stash. It had that red ribbon on it that I removed. I made this sweet little bow using that black and white gingham ribbon. And then I have a half bead that I stained with the antique wax. I'm just going to glue that half bead right to the top of my lantern instead of adding that jute um, cord back. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to just glue that uh, bow right to the top of my wreath. And I was going to try to make a hanger to hang the wreath from the lantern, but I ended up just gluing it down. And that was it for this one. Super simple. So, so simple. Before moving on to my final DIY, I just want to thank Emily, Missy, and Krista for hosting this month's challenge and to remind everyone to go check everybody out as well as the playlist. Okay, DIY number five. This DIY, I will be using some jumbo craft sticks and a frame, those shadow box frames that I took a jigsaw to and a router, a very fine router piece. And I cut out a Christmas tree. This is my first time using a jigsaw and uh, not too bad. I did have to use a emery board to sand it down because this particle board, wow, it, it, it just kind of rips. And so, but it came out really, really cute, I think. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's okay. And then the with the emery board, you just want to make sure to sand the inside and the outside because it had paper so i don't want any of that sticking up okay and then i'm going to take these jumbo craft sticks and i'm going to cut them down to size so i was you know starting out cutting one by one and i thought wait a minute i think it was brenda from rustic and lace she taped her craft sticks all together and cut them all at once i think it was her if i'm not i'm sorry brenda but i i thought it was you um but anyway someone on here in this group uh taped their craft sticks together and made one cut so that's what i did <laughs> i just used my miter saw outside but you can use your your miter box or you know whatever you use to cut your 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 wood with And then I got out a variety of paints. I have plaster, territorial beige, blues, greens, reds, even uh, sky pink or pink sky. I just grabbed what I thought would look Christmassy. So I, what I did is I painted the, the box there, the shadow box with plaster. I used some sandstone and some territorial beige to dry brush. And then I painted all my sticks and voila, they're done. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Turning the shadow box upside down or, you know, backside up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my craft sticks and I'm going to start layering them gluing them down on the inside of that shadow box, leaving a little crack in between each, each one to make sure um, those slats are visible. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna glue each one down, starting with the red, then the green, then the blue, and so on and so forth. And that was it. That's all it took for this one. The jigsaw took me a little bit of time, um, but you know, that was my first time. Maybe next time uh, it'll be a breeze. Who knows? So anyway, okay, are you ready for the final reveal? Here it is, the final reveal. There's the Christmas tree. There's the scale. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, and it screams farmhouse to me, especially that color of the scale with the church. And then we have our farmhouse sign there with all the 
Christmas words or the winter words. And there is that lantern with that cute bow. I love it. I hope you all love it too. I hope I have inspired you to get to crafting. There is that bow tree with those adorable presents. Aren't those darling? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I thought about, you know, maybe I should have painted that base there, but you know, I think it would have taken away that farmhouse look. Anyway, I know I'm rambling. Thank you all so, so much for watching my video today. And don't forget to go watch that playlist and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye for now. Enjoy the pictures.